a $1 trillion market and is critical to American workers, it's critical to American business, and it's in critical to American savers who have a lot of that money in money market funds. So we heard loud and clear there were liquidity issues. This is very significant and will create, uh, I don't think we'll need to use it all, but we have the ability to have the Fed purchase up to $1 trillion of commercial paper as needed. That has already created significant stability in the market today. The second thing I would say is, you know, we've previously talked about uh, deferring IRS payments. The president earlier this morning uh, authorized me to announce this program. I have previously announced we would defer $200 billion. The president suggested we increase that to $300 billion, which we'll be, we will be doing. Now, let me just be clear on the specifics. We encourage those Americans who can file their taxes to continue to file their taxes on April 15th because for many Americans, you will get tax refunds. And we don't want you to lose out on those tax refunds. We want you to make sure you get them. Many people do this electronically, which is easy for them and easy for the IRS. Uh, if you owe a payment to the IRS, you can defer up to a million dollars as an individual. And the reason why we're doing a million dollars is that covers lots of pass-throughs in small businesses and $10 million to corporations interest-free and penalty-free for 90 days. All you have to do is file your taxes. You'll automatically uh, not get charged interest and penalties. Now, of course, any American has the right to extend their taxes. We're not taking that a right, but the President has asked us to go up to $300 billion. That's also an enormous amount of liquidity in the system. Uh, the third thing is the President and I worked on a very significant economic stimulus plan. Thank you for being available last night and throughout this morning, and I will be presenting that to the Republicans in the Senate this morning and uh, also discussing that with the House. Uh, we look forward to having bipartisan support. We're now working with the Senate to pass this legislation very quickly, and these will be payments to small businesses. Uh, we've talked about loan guarantees so to critical industries such as airlines and hotels. And we've also talked about a stimulus package to the American worker. Uh, you can think of this as something like business interruption payments for the American workers. Thank you. Do you have any questions for the Secretary of the Treasury? When you say a stimulus package for American workers, do you mean direct payments to Americans, or are you talking about a payroll tax holiday? Um, although the President likes the idea of the payroll tax holiday, I will tell you what we've heard from many people, and the President has said we can consider this. The payroll tax holiday would get people money over the next six to eight months. We're looking at sending checks to Americans immediately. And what we've heard from hardworking Americans, many companies have now shut down, whether it's bars or restaurants. Americans need cash now, and the President wants to get cash now. And I mean now in the next two weeks. How much? Uh, I will be previewing that with the Republicans. There's some numbers out there. They may be a little bit bigger than what's in the press. Go ahead, please. Please, wait. Please. Uh, what help are you going to give to airlines specifically? We've, I've had discussions with all the airline CEOs this week. Um, the airline CEOs have had conversations with the Senate and the House. As the President said, I was up with a subset of the Republican senators last night. I've discussed that with them. I think, as you know, this is worse than 9-11. For the airline industry, this is, uh, they, they are almost ground to a halt. The President wants to make sure that although we don't want people to travel unless it's critical, we want to maintain for critical travel the right to have domestic hey, travel. $60 billion, is that I'm not going to comment on the specifics. I will tell you, we're very focused. There's a lot of workers. This is strategically important to us, and we'll be working with Congress on this. The airline industry will be in good shape. Yeah, go ahead, please. Uh, there's been talk about $1,000 checks to every American, increasing support among Republicans and some Democrats for that. Would you support that going to everyone, or would you support some sort of income restriction on who gets a check? Well, I think it's clear. We don't need to send people who make a million dollars a year checks, okay? But uh, we like, that's one of the ideas we like. Uh, we're going to preview that today, and then we'll be talking about details afterwards. Well, I think, I think we're going to do something that gets money to them as quickly as possible. Uh, that may not be an accurate way of doing it, because obviously some people shouldn't be getting checks for $1,000. And uh, 
we'll have a pretty good idea by the end of the day what we're going to be doing. Mr. Secretary, Mr. Secretary, yeah, John, can you tell how, how would the mechanics of this work? I mean, we've been talking about a payroll tax holiday, uh, some $500 billion worth was floated to me today. But So how would this idea of, of sending people to check work, would you... Would that be sort of an advance on what they would pay in payroll taxes? It, 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 it again, uh, we want to make sure Americans get money in their pockets quickly. We want to make sure small business owners have access to funds. We want to make sure that hotels, airlines, we have an entire package. We'll be laying out those details later today. Uh, yeah, I have to say this. There are four different ways you can do it. That's uh, okay. Four, you can hear me well enough, I imagine. Thank you, Mr. Sorry. Okay. Uh, oh, people at home, you're right. Those are very important people, come to think of it, especially your people. Uh, look, we have four or five ways we can do it, four ways in particular. I think there's a fifth possibility, but there are some very good ways of uh, getting the money out and getting it out quickly. Uh, uh, payroll tax is one way, but it does come over a period of uh, months, many months, and we want to do something much faster than that. So I think we have ways of getting money out pretty quickly and very accurately. Okay? Mr. Secretary, Mr. Secretary, can you yes. talk about the timeline, please? How quickly do you think you can get this done? The, the, pre the president has instructed me support. we have to do this now. So this is now. By the we, end of the week? Uh, we are going to work with the Senate, who's in session right now, actively. Uh, we will continue to have conversations with the House. I've already spoken to Speaker Pelosi once today. This is stuff that needs to be done now. The President has instructed me that this is no fault to American workers. For medical reasons, we are shutting down parts of this economy, and we're going to use all the tools we have, as I've said, and what tools we don't have, we're going back to Congress. I, I got to go back to uh, $50 billion to those who might be concerned that's too expensive. We don't want to talk about it, but it's a substantial number. We're going big. The expression, we could do it two ways. We could keep going back every day or every week. Uh, we're going big. And uh, that's where uh, Mitch McConnell, that's the way he wants to go. That's the way I want to go. I think we want to get it done and uh, have a big infusion as opposed to going through little uh, meetings every, every couple of days. We don't want to do it that way. We want to go big, go solid. The country is very strong. We've never been so strong, and uh, that's what we're going to be doing. We don't want, uh, with this invisible enemy, we don't want airlines going out of business. We don't want people losing their jobs or not having money to live when they were doing very well just four weeks ago. So we're going big, and that's the way it'll be, and that's the way everybody seems to like it. On the hill. Any other questions for Steve? Sorry, in addition to airlines and hotels,